Hey guys, in this video I just want to quickly um, show you how you can go ahead and install this second firmware that's been leaked officially by uh, Samsung in new firmware. Uh, it is the XXKP2 uh, and uh, I've already made an installation video showing you how you can go ahead and install the XXKP1. Now this one was created like uh, one day later. Uh, 8th of December, uh, that's like the build date uh, that Sammy did this uh, firmware. Um, so, you know, it's a little faster, but still has a lot of bugs. So it's it's almost like the same, I think. Uh, but, you know, it, it is faster, so I want to go ahead and try it out. Um, so as you can see here on my Samsung Galaxy S2, I'm currently in download mode. So I'm just going to quickly go ahead and uh, go into my Odin here that you have to go ahead and download. I will also provide the zip file for all of these uh, files here for the XXKP2 ROM, ROM if you want to try this for yourself. And the uh, password is always going to be sanfermore.com because they are awesome. So uh, once you have extracted it, you will find the files AP boot, code, kernel, and modem. Now I'm just going to follow the instructions uh, as I did with the first one. Uh, first, uh, when I uh, did uh, flash it uh, with this XXKP1, I'm just going to follow the instructions here that I got from a comment. Um, let's see where where is he? Should be here somewhere. There we go. So we're gonna uh, first off we're gonna use the PDAS code uh, and the phone modem and then the bootloader AP boot and then we're gonna flash it again, but then only use the kernel as the PDA. So the first time we aren't gonna use the kernel file. Um, so obviously it, you know you should only do this if you you know would like to try things out. This is not something that you're gonna use uh, in a daily usage. So let's go ahead and fire up Odin. I'm using Odin 1.85 as you can see up there in the top. We can see that it's added. You see the yellow thingy. All only auto reboot and a freeze of time. Gonna go ahead and look for the files uh, that I have here. On let's see here on my age drive let's see uh, should be over here okay AP boot is gonna be our bootloader PDA is gonna be our code let's see here my hard drive is just starting up over here you can see that that's obviously the big one uh, code uh, and then we have a phone modem and we're just gonna leave it like this and then we're just gonna go ahead and click on start and it's gonna do a lot of scary things here, I suppose. Uh, used as always. Set up connection. NA, an Android, right start. Uh, Param, yeah. Factory, YFS. A lot of things. A lot of things has to be done. Let's see here, pretty quick. 210 seconds. Let's bring up my calculator here and let's see if we 7 no, 10 minutes times 60. Okay. So. Okay. Okay, so let's just uh, let this thing run over here. You can see that it's uh, downloading stuff uh, in our download mode. Which you can access on your Samsung Galaxy S2 if you just turn it off, uh, hold in the home button or whatever you want to call it, and the lock button and the volume down button at the same time. And then you just click on volume up when you see a warning appear. Du -du -du. And as I said, we're going to use uh, Odin two times to flash. Just because that was, you know, the instructions that I was reading. I suppose you can do it in other ways as well. But uh, this is how I'm going to do it. So you better follow my rules, you know. Yeah. No, I'm not approving these things. But I try things. And then I think we're just going to disconnect our cable. Because obviously we are connected. Um, yeah. Ok, 
okay around 80% maybe on the factory FS not sure what that is but it's for some important file uh, try also not to do other things on your computer while you're doing this because I've done that before like trying to move around the Odin window and then you know the whole program starts to freeze and everything and I don't think that's so good when you're doing you know these things on your phone uh, and also I, I would probably not play around with these things uh, different firmware and stuff like that if I didn't have you know other phones if something gets messed up because you have no idea you know it, it's code it's code we're doing here and it's a lot of you know zeros and ones and yeah okay so let's see here um, getting some progress uh, pass okay that's good succeeded removed so I'm just gonna disconnect it right here and then I'm gonna instantly again turn it off okay interesting uh, it seems like it booted into clockwork mode or recovery mode and system recovery obviously I don't have clockwork mode right now with this uh, RM but I'm just gonna reboot it right now and go back uh, into the same thing so I can we can just, you know plug it in again okay so let's see volume up and this time we are just gonna go ahead and not do anything with our phone so we're gonna uncheck that uh, also uncheck bootloader then change the PDA to kernel now let's go ahead and click on start and you should see the kernel text up there and that is okay pass there we go removed so it should be finished right now. That's kind of good. So we can just go ahead and disconnect this one. I mean, of course, we don't have to, but you know. So let's see, awesome text. You should see that triangle as well, because this is the first time you're doing this. Because I have no idea. Has removed. I hate those driver problems I get on my computer. I'm not sure why, but you know I'm doing all things with a lot of smartphones. I you know go into my reg edit on my computer. I do a lot of things, so you know seeing error messages that's that's nothing weird. I see it all day long. Uh, we can see that thingy load up and as I said uh, I think it could take a little while the first time you are booting up booting up the thing xxkp2 hopefully we'll get more uh, leaks it's gonna be interesting to see uh, if you know this is obviously his early builds of ice cream sandwich uh, by Samsung and hopefully they will hopefully remove a little bit more of the touch with UI so it feels a little bit more like Android 4.0 but yeah at least at least I have that multitasking thingy and I like that looks awesome It's not dead, dead, dead. It's not dead. Let's see that animation, and uh, yeah, they could be very, very slow. And you can get random reboots, and you can get a lot of scary things. And I heard that they haven't removed that uh, red thingy triangle that you can get around it. That kind of sucked. But hopefully you will feel that it's 
you know, less less buggy. There we go. So we are up and running. So that's basically how you go ahead and install the second RM by sensing that has been leaked. Uh, how I don't know, but. Uh,